Welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm your host, Alexandra Martin. If you're like me and you love magic shows and the circus, mark January 26th on your calendar because Nathan Kepner and the Crescent Circus will be here to entertain us. Nathan Kepner, welcome to ISF. Thank you for coming and we're so happy to have you here. But the first thing that I want to know is how did you get into magic? Well, uh, first, thank you for having me on. We really appreciate uh, the chance. Um, I got started in magic like a lot of little kids. I had just a, an old magic set um, when I was about five years old that kind of hooked me onto magic. Um, I never really grew out of that phase and continued doing it through high school, through college. And uh, uh, now, now we're here bringing a show to y'all. You're a husband and wife duo, so your wife Morgan, how did you two meet? Oh, we actually met uh, while going to college, uh, and we met at the juggling club. She was hula hooping, I was just learning how to juggle then. Uh, and we met up and started performing together shortly after. Uh, and that was, that was wow, that was almost 14 years ago. Wow, so is she, is she the one like with the circus component of it and you're the magician? Uh, that's that's how we started. She started out in the circus arts. I started out in magic. Uh, but as we've been working together, we kind of crossed paths a little bit. She does some magic now. I do some juggling and and balancing stunts with her. Uh, so so it's a little bit of both now. And both things are really interesting, but they're also really different. So how do you incorporate magic and circus into one show that encompasses everything? Yeah, I think uh, kind of when I was introduced to magic and then later in life when I was introduced to the world of circus uh, in college and, and meeting Morgan, uh, we kind of just fell in love with, uh, with everything. And we kind of just found inspiration in so many little things. And I think that just that passion that we had for so many different types of circus arts and magic and so many different ways you can approach it, um, I think the passion really brought it all together in one show. It's a lot of different things, admittedly, uh, in a single yeah. show. But, a lot of different uh, things. <laughs> especially having um, uh, both of us in the show lets mm -hmm. us lets us, you know, use our own expertise in what we do. But I think it's one of those things where uh, the fact that we're working together makes it a much more exciting, much more fun show for both us and the audience than if it were. Absolutely, uh, and you have a great. Show. Absolutely, you have a great dynamic too, and I did see some of your some of your clips in the past, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, you guys did great, so congratulations. And another thing that I want to know: Are there any specific tricks or illusions that you feel resonate the most with your audience that gives them that wow factor? Um, I think th there is there are kind of two angles that I really like. Some things are really big and fast and exciting. Um, we do some big stage illusions and, and escapes and that sort of thing that happen in the blink of an eye. It almost feels like you're watching a, a CGI live. And that's very exciting. Um, but the other half of it that I think really brings a value uh, to the show and then why we're so grateful to be able to come here is that uh, being a live show, we can actually get people, you know, from the audience on stage to become a part of the show. That way, it makes it a unique experience for the audience every time. Um, it makes it that much more memorable. It makes it that much more connected uh, when we can interact with people both in their seats and on stage, uh, kids and adults alike, uh, giving everybody a more personal experience uh, and, and just making it making it more fun. And, and uh, it's like hanging out with friends. Absolutely, and I love that it's for the whole family, the kids, the grandparents, everyone can enjoy. So what's something in specific maybe that we can expect when we go to the show? Um, I'm a big fan of, of, we do a bit of combining juggling arts, which might be like traditional toss juggling and hula hooping with balancing stunts. Uh, so I stand on Morgan and do tricks. Morgan, my wife, stands on top of me and balances on me while hula hooping and throwing things and spinning plates. Uh, and that's that's some of my favorite stuff because we really rely on each other and it's just fun and, and something something you don't see every day. Well, Nathan, thank you so much. Please let us know where can we find you? When is the show, showtime, all of that good stuff. 
Yeah, we are going to be at the Pompano Beach uh, Cultural Center on January 26th at 7 o'clock. Uh, you can go to Pompano Beach uh, FL.gov for more information and grab your tickets there. Perfect. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you all so much.